So, what seems to be the problem between you two? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so my husband is a graphic designer and he's always using these terms that nobody understands. Like, we were just at my family function and taking pictures and instead of saying, say cheese, he would say, uh, say raster. Say raster. Nobody understands right. what that even means. It doesn't make sense. It makes Steven. perfect sense. You're using a camera. They're pixels. Mm. It makes perfect sense. I don't understand why. I don't really understand what the problem is. It's very clear and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, really, you know? I mean, she she thinks Microsoft Paint is a fully functional photo editor. <laughs> I mean... I guess I, guess I do. Right? Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this video. In this one, I'm so glad they could work it out. But in this one, we're talking about raster versus vector. And if you don't know the difference between them, well, by the end of this video, you're gonna know the difference between them. And I'm just gonna break this down really simple in a non-pretentious designer or nerdy typed way. Uh, and we're gonna start uh, this off by talking about raster first. Now raster essentially just means pixels. And each pixel contains uh, specific color information that sort of make up a larger image. Now, if you are using a regular camera, DSLR, or your phone to take pictures, usually it's going to be stored and made up of pixels. And those file types are normally JPEG, PNG, and GIF. And yes, I'm saying GIF, not GIF, because I've been saying GIF for 25 years, and I'm not going to change it now. So raster images, pixel images are usually great for photographs. Uh, they have good shading, really good color, and they can really give you a nice detailed image, but they have their issues. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're in Affinity Photo now, which is a raster program. Another example of that would be Adobe Photoshop. I've got this picture open here, which is not, not Canada. Definitely where I am. Um, and this is a JPEG image, and the resolution is pretty good. It's pretty high. It looks pretty good from here, but I'll show you if I start to zoom in here. It's going to start getting pixelated. So you can see these little squares start to form as I zoom in, and these are all individual pixels. And the picture is made up of hundreds or thousands of these. So if I add a new layer here, and I'm just gonna grab my paintbrush, and I can just start painting individual pixels just to show you. So this is eight pixels that I'm painting right now, just so you can see them, and then I will zoom out. You can see those individual pixels are just painted there. So raster images can look great depending on the resolution. This particular picture with the resolution would look great in a photograph, maybe even a poster. But if I tried to blow up to something like this on like a billboard, it would end up looking like this because it would look all pixelated. It's just not enough Im image information to blow it up. Now there's different resolutions you can take photographs at, but the disadvantages with the raster is the bigger you get, you're going to lose quality. So that is raster. Let's move on to vector. Okay, so we got uh, vector here. Now, what is the difference? Now, uh, vector is actually based more so on mathematical equations, and they don't use pixels. They're usually made up of points, lines, and curves, and they can be scaled to any size without losing quality. So in this image here, you can see there's different points that I'm grabbing and moving around, and it doesn't matter what size I would move that to, they would never lose quality. And these file types are usually EPS, SVG, or AI for Adobe Illustrator. So let's hop into open a vector. Okay, so now we are in a Affinity Designer, which is a vector program, and it's something similar to Adobe Illustrator. Now I have this image open here of this cassette head guy, and like previous, if I zoom in here, with vector, here's the difference. It doesn't matter how much I zoom in, I will never lose quality. The lines and everything will stay as crisp and clean as they are zoomed all the way out. Now if I were to take this particular picture and put it on a billboard like this, it would still look as good. It doesn't matter if, how big or how small, Vector will never lose its quality. And that is one of the advantages and cool things about Vector. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you could do me a huge favor and just tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you've never seen my videos before and you thought this was fantastical, uh, why don't you subscribe? Join the Design Method gang. Not an actual gang. I'm putting out new stuff all the time. All the coolest kids are doing it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.